Welcome back. So now that we have our first project up and running, let's try and make a new one. So I'm just going to close all of this. There we go. I'm going to keep this guy over here because I want to add this project to the current solution. So remember, we have the solution on the top level and then we can have multiple projects below. So what I want to do is I want to create a new project. So I'll say new project here to <clears throat> create a new console application. It already selected console application, so that was nice. And then I'll give it a new name. I'll just call this input output because we're going to look more into detail what the actual, how we did input output, how we wrote and read from the console. And it asks, do you want to create a new solution? No, I do not. I want to add to the current solution, C Sharp Crash Course. I'll say OK, and it'll create a new solution here. OK, so now I have two projects. Now it starts making sense to have a solution at the top level and then multiple projects below. OK, that's one thing you have to know. Another way to create this project was to right click the solution, go down and say add, and then do a new project. You would have exactly the same dialog that I showed before, and there you can add a new project directly to your solution. Good, so that's two ways to create new projects. So here we have the new project. Let me just shut this down. Under the project, again, I have a program CS file. Now, if I run this now, let me just press start. What you'll notice is it pops up with the old program. So it's actually still running the old project. So we have to say, I know this is a single solution, but what project do I want to launch? So I'll just stop that guy and go into right-clicking the new project called Input Output, and then I'll say Set as Startup Project. You could also say Run here, but let's just set it as a startup project. There we go. And now you'll notice that it's been uh, bold in the text, so it's more dark in the text than this one. That means that this is the startup project. I'll press Start again, and guess what? We are back to the beginning where it just pops up a small console lock, shuts it down again, and we are ready to write some actual code. Notice the first time it starts, it takes a longer time to launch. Think about it, why do you think that's the case? I can give you the answer. The answer is it's because it needs to compile the code the first time, and it takes longer the first time than when you do it again and again. 